Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey, what's up, everyone? It's HTG Brian here. We've got some more Sniper Elite 4 action for you. This happens to be another collectible guide for level 5, Abrenza Monastery. We're going to get a level trophy achievement called We Shall Not Fail or Falter for simply completing it. We're going to get all those collectibles you see on the right-hand side. And, oh, I see Battle Thumby peeking out. Now, keep in mind, this is a mature game, so use your uh, best discretion of whether or not you should be watching or playing this game. <laughs> That's right, we always follow the ESRB. Reese hates it, but it's... It is what it is. All right, uh, moving along, we're going to take a quick peek at the map, and we're going to show you all of the Stone Eagle locations, as well as uh, most of the important officers, snipers, or infantry that are carrying items. So uh, all the general area. Now, keep in mind, we do have quick links down below in the video description. So if you're looking for just like a sniper report or something specific, feel free to use those, and it should take you right to what you need. Now, uh, moving right along, we're going to go ahead and infiltrate this side of the city over here. And it starts off with an infantry who happens to be carrying a last letter. Now, it's the first of the last letter, so don't let that wording confuse you. But we're going to search his body and pick it up. Now, uh, a little quick note. We have gone through and completed this entire level. If you've not been following along with our guide so far, uh, Tyler and I sweep through the entire level and kill everybody that is not important. Uh, we mark all the ones that are and then we go back to the beginning so we can go through and show you what it should look like now keep in mind if you uh, break cover or uh, alert some of the locals they might uh, kind of scatter off and not be exactly where we show you here but uh, this is uh, pretty close to where they should be and we're always going to give you a good general idea of where they should be so this guy's upstairs he could be out on the back porch or he could be up inside and uh, either way we're going to go ahead and tag him and it's right next to did you see that uh, secondary objective right there that's investigate Abbott. Well, we're going to go ahead and pick up the loot off his body, which happens to be the first letter from home before investigating that document. Now, this is the first of four documents that we need to find. Uh, we're going to show you where all of those are along the way, and that's going to complete that uh, Investigate Abbott objective. Now, in this next room right over here by the radio, we're going to go ahead and grab this document before somebody turns on that fan and blows it away, man. Uh, all right, so we are making some good progress now. Like I said, this video is rather long. It's quite possible that you've already got all of the collectibles in this first little area. You might have all of a specific item, so that's why we encourage you to use those quick links down below, and uh, hopefully you can utilize them and find it very efficient for collectibling. That's right, collectibling. All right, uh, we're going to make our way down and out across the street, down kind of in the back left corner or furthest left corner, and go up these stairs, her. And inside this room, we're going to find ourselves a document. Booyah, kashow. This one happens to be a letter to home. It's not a document. I guess that was kind of confusing how I said that, so my bad. But uh, it, is a, it is a document. It is a piece of paper. Technically, it's a document, but in the game, it's labeled as a letter. So, damn. All right, next up is optional objective two. This guy over here is, uh, you can see he's got a radio code on him. We're going to need that code later to go ahead and kind of crack through and investigate a convoy of trucks. And it's all just kind of part of that investigate Abbott objective. So we're going to show you how to do it. So here we go. Optional objective two. We take out the officer. And normally we'd find ourselves a duty roster. <laughs> but uh, in this particular case, he just has that code for us. Next up, we got a miscellaneous document. And this one's going to be uh, out and around. And oh, oh, look at Tyler throwing rocks at me. I think those them are fighting words right there, even though there weren't words. Fighting, fighting rocks. I don't know. I'm trying to start a fight with Tyler, dang it. Let me let me start it. Uh, he's going to take me up here. Oh, I will make a note here. He totally pulled a Dougie right here. So Doug's notorious for writing his guides, and, and when he means left, he'll write right. Or when he means right, he'll write left. And it's not always that way, but often when I'm following the guide trying to find collectibles, I'm always like, hey, there's not a left over here. It's only right. You know, we always laugh about it. But when we got up to the top of that ladder, Tyler, no joke, went, it's right there on your right. <laughs> went, uh, you mean on my left? We kind of laughed about it because he is familiar with the Dougie ways. Now, right upstairs from that last collectible, we're actually going to go ahead and grab another letter to home. And we're going to drop out the old window there and right outside, look at this, on a bench right behind a really noisy generator. Pretty sure that Tyler activated that guy so we could have some cover fire trying to uh, take out all the locals that were not important. So 
All right, we grab that and we are off and running. Now here, I'm gonna go ahead and advise you to go ahead and check out those quick links again, as uh, it's gonna speed things up for you if you're looking for a specific collectible. Now we're also gonna take a quick peek at this map because we're right in the middle of like a vineyard or some sort of, I don't know, I guess it's grapes. I, I'm not sure, maybe it's hops or something. But anyhow, uh, there's a couple of ladders that are kind of shortcuts that we're using that uh, alleviate you being spotted by a couple of bad guys that will cause us trouble. So we're actually taking the back door route. That's right, giggity. And we're going to go ahead and climb up this chain main. And up top, we're actually going to find a officer walking around. But there's also an optional objective here. But we're going to actually wait to destroy that gun until we take out the rest of the important locals carrying items. Because they've been actually known to scatter. We actually had to replay this level because I blew that gun up right now and some of the other guys ran off and they kind of queued a sniper that's down. So anyways, uh, we highly recommend you wait for blowing that up. Now, hey, if you've already blown your cover, guys are all scattered, you're not worried about it, you're just scanning all the bodies, I guess that's up to you. But I guess it kind of brings the question of that's the case and everything's in chaos mode. Why are you watching our video? <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, uh, last letter, buddy, can be found inside, and you can see Tyler went ahead and blasted his dome off, and he did a little backflip, so he didn't know he was an acrobatic infantryman, but he was. We're going to go ahead and pilfer his body, and look at that, we find a last letter. And next up, there's actually a couple items in this little courtyard here, and next we're actually going to find uh, the... Oh, wait, we're, we're going to go back... Oh, that's right, the primary objective. So there is an objective for clearing out all of the bad guys in that area. Now, we have officially done that, including all of the close-by guys. So we're going to run back and blow up this gun before we get too far ahead. So now I know I was just telling you guys, don't blow until all the important guys are taken out. Well, we did. We took out that one guy inside there. And I think the one time that we actually had to redo this, we had a nobody walking around in there that was tagged, and we thought he was somebody, but he wasn't. And then we blew that up, and he ran off and went and alerted the others. So, all right, I told you there were some more collectibles in this area. We're going to start off by taking out the old eagle, so we'll mark him on our map, and then watch me. I totally looked the wrong way. I'm like, yeah, it's over here. Wait, no? Oh, it's over there. And, all right, get ready. Oh, caca! That's right, one of three! So hopefully you guys are finding these videos rather useful, and uh, if you are, please give us a like, and maybe even drop a comment down below. Um, just let us know, hey, we like this, check it out. All right, speaking of checking it out, make sure you grab this letter to home inside this little hut. I guess it's kind of a house, hut, thing, building. I'm not sure what you want to call it, but it's inside there. And we're going to actually go off to the left-hand side over here, too. So uh, inside, in the back corner, you can see where Tyler's running to. We're going to go ahead and make our way back there and pick up the miscellaneous document three. So woo to the who. We're uh, making some good ground. We're not quite to the halfway point. We're still quite a ways out from that, actually. But all right next up i do believe we get to uh run up and around i don't think that we deal with the sniper quite yet we got a last letter it looks like oh yeah this guy's over here wandering around in the it's not really an orchard but it's certainly a forestry woodsy like area now keep in mind too this guy is normally down here by this gun but he tends to wander so he could be anywhere down on this lower beach area or he could be all the way up here where these woody trees are so uh, once you find him, locate him, scan him, go ahead and drop him. And then, of course, go for his body and take the last letter. So thank you very much. We'll go ahead and move on to ooh, sniper reports. So uh, sniper reports are often found on snipers, but they can also be found on nearby sniper locations. Now, in this particular case, we've got a pissed off sniper. You can see he's all red and angry. That's right. He's got red on him. And we're going to try to avoid him as much as possible. But he see, he's already spotted some stuff. And what's going down is there's actually like this area that like you have allies that show up and you really can't do anything about it i'm pretty sure once you clear castle hill that's when they show up and they start blasting so it's possible that those guys your allies might actually take out your sniper look at our sniper he's off and running like what the hell is he doing but uh we're gonna go ahead and follow him all the way down there so this is a prime example of how things that are real smooth and easy can go wrong real fast. And we were even careful and, you know, we did things as, well, I guess as careful as we could be. We actually didn't blow that uh, gun back there until we had everybody cleared. But see, in this particular case, it had nothing to do with us. It was the local artificial intelligence that showed up to help us, our allies. So uh, we're going to go ahead and take a peek at the map and just kind of show you where we found him and where he normally is. He's normally up in this area over there, so uh, it is possible they could wander. Just make sure you're always scanning bodies, and of course, once you do scan the sniper, he will be recognized with a spe special icon. 
So, all right, dropping right down below in this little house, hut, whatever you want to call it. We're going to go up the stairs and turn around. And let's see here. We got, oh, right there on the old bookcase. Thank you. We'll take that. So miscellaneous document four is now ours. We only have a whole bunch to go. <laughs> this is, I think this is the, I think we were, we were doing all the calculation. I think this level has the most collectibles in it. Now, next up, we've got this uh, little hide hut over here and inside it's got the next artillery gun we need to destroy now i ran into some issues i think it's actually on the next level oh and be careful right here too if you drop down and follow our path into this area where all, yeah there's big booms that go boom in the night and in the daytime so watch out there it's a minefield and only on from the one side you get a warning of that you can see octoon mining and i believe that stands for caution mines but I am not fluent in many languages outside of English, so I do speak Brianese, but I don't think that qualifies. Now, here, we're going to run over to this pretty important area. This is kind of the most northern tip of the map. We've got the call convoy option, which is actually there because we got that code earlier, the radio code off that officer back in that first town. Now, this guy right here that we just showed, he could actually be up by the pillbox gun up on the far right where we kind of showed you on the map. But he also wanders down here, too. So I kind of got caught slipping. I shot a couple of guys down by this house, and he wandered down from that uh, hut up above down here and unfortunately we had to get him down here but that's just how it rolls like I said sometimes the guys wander um, and if you're wondering what the hut is it's just up there it's that little half circle up and you'll see it's a pillbox it's a little turret it's a suppressed turret inside there speaking of inside there we're inside this house now right under the old investigate Abbott uh, secondary objective and there's actually two collectibles inside here one downstairs and one upstairs so make sure you grab both of those and then we're going to go ahead and activate this convoy. So basically, we're super secret squirrel right here. And we're like, hey, guys, we're, uh, we're ready for you. Come on down. When it's really not, <laughs> we're not the important people that are supposed to make that call. So we have fooled them. And now they're going to roll out. So you're going to see a little bit of an edit right here. I'm going to show you. The trucks actually start from way over here. And they make their way down and around. Uh, and it takes roughly two minutes or so. And although we have sped this video up ever so slightly, we actually edited out about, I don't know, 45 seconds to a minute of just wait time. So all they did was just sitting here waiting, and eventually the trucks roll by, and there is no visual cue. You will hear Frank, no, not Frank, what's his name? What's his name will say, uh, oh, yeah, here we go, or something like that. So uh, Carl, that's right, Carl says that. I don't know why I couldn't remember that. It's Carl Fairborn. Anyhow. We're going to make our way up and through the orchard. This actually is an orchard-like area. And here's that pillbox thing I was talking about. So this could be where that officer is, too. So if you can't find the officer down by that house or over to the left by that house, if you're looking at the map, uh, we, we definitely recommend that you look up here and find him. Speaking of finding him, we're also going to uh, look at this. We investigated a document, which happened to be a miscellaneous document, but it also helped us with our objective of trying to figure out what's going on with Abbott. Now, right outside, across the way, there's a couple of little, I guess they're like triage tents or something. I guess maybe they're just hangout tents. But uh, inside the middle one, you'll find the next miscellaneous document. So make sure you grab that before keeping on, keeping on. You know what I'm saying? And uh, we're going to go up to the upper orchard. You notice there's another one up here. And there's a duty roster. That's right. We got ourselves an officer who walks around. He actually could wander over here by the eagle and in this main area. We've seen him over by the tank, too, which we have actually stalled out. So we do get spotted by him but we have removed the gunner and the driver from them so he is no longer a threat uh, that tank will go up and down and cause a lot of grief so make sure you try and take him out whether you blow him up or whether you uh, eradicate the driver that, that's what we like to do we just like to take out the driver and then the, the gunner but uh, make sure you pick up the duty roster off of that officer before moving on and we're gonna go ahead and get to this middle of this little mini courtyard here and you might notice there's a ca -ca up there it's really actually hiding amongst some moss and whatnot, but uh, blast his head off. And see, we're getting spotted by that tank right now, but luckily for us, there's nobody around to do anything about it. And all right, so inside this far right building, it's kind of the southeast building of this little, I don't know if I'd call it a town, but it's definitely a little uh, area. And we're going to go ahead and grab that and uh, keep on keeping on. So look at that. We're going to hop over here. And like I said, we're going to get spotted by this tank. But because there's nobody in the gunner or driver position, there's really nothing they can do. We haven't really figured out what's going on there. We feel like there's three guys in every tank. But what that third guy's role is, we're not quite sure. So 
Anyhow, we're going to go up the road and we're going to hug this left side because there are still a bunch of active guys in this kind of castle-like fortress to our right. But we're not, in, we're not worried about that right now. We're actually more concerned about this little building off to the left-hand side of it. Notice there's a question mark on the map and compass there. We're actually going to walk up and check it out. And this is actually kind of like the secret entrance. So we're going to go in through here and go under and then pop up inside the fortress. So how cool was that? Anyways, go down into the old basement, and next up, we're actually going to do a little parkouring, or I, I, I guess it reminds Tyler of Assassin's Creed, so he was like, yeah, we get to go full-on Assassin's Creed down here, and when I got down here, I was like, oh, snap, Hulk smash, and you see that big old jump I did? That was awesome. And down by the campfire, we're actually going to take a quick peek at the map first, but we are going to pick up a miscellaneous document, which, again, happens to be more of the story on Abbott. So we're kind of killing two birds with one stone, so to speak, and uh, we're going to climb all the way up. And look, Tyler went all the way to the left, and I'm, like, starting to uh, do my shimmy all the way over there. And then he climbs up, and it turns out you can actually walk right through this hallway right here. So rather than wasting a bunch of time going left, I'm like, oh, yeah, sweet. Or, oh, yeah, as Mr. Kool-Aid Man likes to say. Anyhow, uh, moving down this catacomb-like hallway, we're going to find a nice stairwell. And up top, we've got a little, a little Y in the road, and we always like to eat at the Y. You know what I'm saying? Uh, go ahead and take a left. Take a right. It'll take you up to a door that happens to be locked. I'm not sure if it ever becomes unlocked, but it is at the time. And all right, we'll go up a second ladder. And next up, we're actually going to find ourselves a miscellaneous document. I promised a couple of them, and here is the second one. So you, if you're using the quick links, that uh, building in the upper right corner there, upper left, depending on how you're looking at it, um, is certainly the uh, the back door entrance to get in here. And you might go back a collectible or two to see us go in there and all the way down and around. Meanwhile, we're going to run right up inside and go up the stairs. And we're actually going to find this infantry man. He was kind of watching us out in that courtyard-like area and uh, the grassy area that we went and took that back door entrance in. So uh, if you haven't already taken this guy out, he does have a last letter on him. So uh, make sure you search his body before you keep on keeping on. You can see there's quite a few guys that are actually holding items of importance in this castle like fortress. And we're going to take them all down, man. All down. One at a time. One at a time. Next up is a last letter. And uh, this guy is kind of wandering out in the lower area here. And this is for sure a courtyardy like area. I, I wish there was better names. It, unfortunately, um, you know, the map doesn't give you specific names to areas. I know some, some of them kind of do, but... Um, I, you'll just have to do your best. We're going to show you the map here in a hot second. And look at that. There we go. We're kind of in that upper left corner. And you can see it's definitely uh, beautiful. Got a nice little landscaping crew around here. That's for sure. But we'll go ahead and take out that guy. Boo, you can shout. And make sure you search his body and grab that last letter, which, in fact, happens to be the last, last letter. So... That's pretty Can't sweet. We know else. we're getting close to the end when we've got most of those collectibles. Ooh, next up. So this this officer right here, he happens to have a safe code. Now, it is not crucial that you get the safe code, especially if you've already taken out everybody. You can actually use a satchel to blow the safe open. But in this particular case, we're still trying to remain stealth. Uh, and this guy has a code, so why not use it, right? So, uh, unfortunately, <laughs> Tyler kind of took him down when I didn't have a perfect line of sight, but it's all good. Search his body, grab the code, and we'll use that here in a minute. Now, before moving on, there's a secret eagle. Look how cheeky this guy is. Like, you saw him on the map there, but, I mean, normally they're up high, out of reach. This guy, you could probably walk up and give it the old pow right in the kissa. But we're going to use the old Rodwell and shoot it silently. So, da -da! third eagle officially ours and another collectible completed so that's very nice next up we've got a miscellaneous document which is also an optional objective so uh this one is another double whammy and we'll make our way following our tyler gps system here or Ty Ty. you know like the old tom toms we used to call it doug doug because doug was the guy running us around but in this particular video it's the Ty Ty. And all right, remember that safe I was talking about just a minute ago? Well, it's time to use that code and crack it open. Again, you can place a satchel on it if, in fact, yeah, you did so. not find or kill that officer with the code. Maybe you snuck up here and have not found him yet. Well, I recommend not blowing the safe if that's the case because you'll alert all of the others. Now, 
In the room right next to that safe, you're going to find another document sitting on the table. And guess what? That actually happens to be the final miscellaneous document. So, uh, oh, to the, yeah, one more collectible completed for this level. Now, hey, feel free to use the quick links down below. We do have a couple of collectibles and a couple of optional objective quick links down below still. So, uh, you know, hey, if you're in a hurry, you want to figure something out, maybe it's the objective, use those links. Otherwise, we're going to run down a floor. Look at this. I get lost. I'm like, I come down to this cellar. I'm like, uh, hey, man, where, where'd you go? And he's like, dude, you went too far. But it's funny how things work. Like, we're pretty good. We're pretty good tandem here. But every once in a while, I, <laughs> I lose track of where I'm going. And I peeked in that room, but what I did not see is that stairwell going down in the corner. It's kind of a funny angle. So uh, we got it. We're all the way down. And we got another collectible coming right up as soon as we get to the base here. And oh, so this officer is running around. He's kind of out of place, too. He actually tries to bum rush us here in the window. Watch this. He's normally kind of out in the middle area here where we're showing you, but he's wandered. So here we go. He's inside, and Booyakashow, he is down. And we'll go ahead and search his body and grab the final duty roster for this level. So, like I said, we're making some great ground. And next up, we've got a primary objective. This one is actually taking out one of the main guys. we got to kill, I think it's Piero? I think that's how you say his name. I, I, I don't know, to be honest with you. I'm always terrible with names. You guys know that. Anybody who's ever watched any of our videos, especially like The Lord of the Rings or, you know, things like that that have uh, different names, like things that you think were pronounced one way but aren't, yeah, that's, that's, I'm pretty good at failing in that department. All right, so we are going to walk into this giant church-like area, and inside we actually see this guy walking around. He happens to have rosary beads. So no safe code, no collectible, but it is the primary objective. So we've actually taken him down, and of course now we need to search his body and collect those beads. Check it out. We've got Divine Justice Challenge Complete. And we also got the Piero Capo complete. Now, I do believe that's because we'd also cleared out the hill and a couple of other things. So if you've been following along in the video doing what we've been doing, then you should be, uh, well, right on track and getting those same things checked off the old checklist. Now, all right, we got a sniper out in this open area here. And we just kind of use cover points to go from one spot to the next and try to do your best to not fully alert him. It's okay if he goes yellow, but if he goes red, things are going to get a lot squirrelier for you. So uh, we took a quick peek at the map to just kind of give you an idea of where we are because I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to scope in on this guy and get the map all in time. We'll not be spotted by the sniper, but it looks like he's got the letter from home. So we're going to go ahead and let Tyler take him out. Looks like he might have missed that first shot. Whoopsie. But uh, we'll search his body. Luckily for us, he was far enough out of the sniper's sight that we did not uh, get spotted by him. So we are going to double back just a little bit bit and go up this I guess you could use the ladder but I would highly recommend the stairs as it's probably a lot quicker and out of sight from that sniper and it looks like maybe the ladder might not take you to where we need to go so don't use the ladder that's right don't use it inside the library though which happens to be up in this long rectangular building in the middle left side we're gonna go ahead and pick up a letter to home which happens to be the final letter to home too so woohoo all right next up we got a sniper report we know where he's at we just got to make our way up there now I want to note right now, especially if you're using these quick links, these snipers can be kind of cheeky. And the harder difficulty you play on, I do believe the more traps they lay out for you. So uh, there is a bell that we're going to ring here in a minute. We're not quite there yet. We're actually going to make our way up these stairs. But now keep in mind, like I said, it's good to use the binoculars and pull them out, as you see me doing, and look for any red highlighted items, which will be a mine or a tripwire or things like that. Uh, if you've got lots of health and lots of med kits and you're not worried about tripping anybody off locally, you know, you know, stirring the neighbors, so to speak, uh, then uh, feel free to run right up, I guess. But in my case, I was trying to be as stealthy as possible. And look at that. So there are a few of them up here and you can defuse them by simply walking up close. I recommend crouching and just just tapping and tapping and tapping until you get close enough to see that icon. I've actually used that method and been super careful and still ran into them unintentionally and blown up which is not ideal so all right once we get all the way up top the sniper hears us and starts popping at us and i think i run up and give him the old ship him in the neck ship him in the neck oh right in the gut that's right i don't think he'll be making sniper elite five that's for sure all right so sniper report on his body we'll go ahead and take that thank you very much and that wraps up the sniper reports as well which guess what that's actually going to complete all of the collectibles. We do have a couple of optional objectives, and then we got to get the hell out of here once we're all done with those. But uh, we're going to go all the way to the base, 
and then we'll take a quick look to see, in fact, if we did get all of the collectibles. And then we're going to ring that bell. Ring that bell. Look at that. 555555. 5, 5, 5, 5, 11, 11, 2, 2, 4, 4, 3, 3. All right, man. We got it. So special thanks to Tyler, as usual, for guiding us through here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and, like I said, wrap up the last couple of optional objectives. Feel free to follow along with us or, of course, move on to the next video. So ring that bell before moving on. And then we're just going to kind of escape. And luckily for us, the last gun we need to blow up happens to be down right on our pathway out of here. So uh, drop down. You got to do a little parkour edge. Parkour! And make sure you try not to die. I tried to do a Hulk smash right here, but I ended up failing and dropping down. So I think I do a good Hulk smash coming up. Ready? I think it's like right here. Hulk smash! Look at that. That was an awesome one. That might have been the best one yet. And all right, so uh, make your way down the vineyard. Oh, Hulk smash again. That was pretty sweet. I, I would love to see Tyler do one. I'd love to see what it looks like from, you know, the lower side instead of the actual, you know, smashing side. But all right, make sure you blow up this gun. And then, of course, we got uh, one quick little sprint to the finish line, which ironically enough, there's actually even a little flag. You see that over there? We're going to run right on to it. But yeah, catch out. Three of three optional objectives now completed. Now, I apologize because normally I pull up the map right now and I actually show you that we've completed all of the primary and secondary objectives, but I didn't do that. Uh, what I can offer you, though, as we have a little rock tossing contest there, is uh, once we get through this cutscene and get to the final totals, it actually does show that we got all three of the secondary objectives. And, of course, I don't think you can complete a level without doing all of the primary. So we'll take that trophy achievement. We shall not fail or falter. And, uh-oh, you know what this screen means. That's going to wrap it up for Sniper Elite 4, Level 5, a Brunza Monastery, where we went through and snagged all of the optional objectives and all of the collectibles. And we even provided links to each and every one of them down below. So hopefully you guys utilize those. Hopefully you guys had fun watching this. I know uh, this hasn't been our most popular series, at least not yet. But I know a lot of you guys uh, don't always grab the games right away. And you'll probably reflect on this later. So uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, or things like that, head on over to our Facebook, Twitter, or simply comment, vote, subscribe down below. Of course, we also have links to playlists. Uh, other you know, we got all sorts of stuff down in the video description. So if you have not done yourself the favor of looking down there, I would click that C more read more whatever that more button is down there and open that world up for you and see what games we have coming in the future uh, and all sorts of other things so lots of fun facts and links to make things easy for you so as for me that's gonna do it for now uh, i've got a couple of more levels that i actually have to edit because tyler and i plowed through these collectibles the other day but I, so i'm a little behind on my editing so i'm gonna try to catch up today and get those out to you so cross your fingers and hopefully you'll see a couple more if not they'll be out soon enough i promise uh, and uh yeah as for me, that's going to do it. As always, until next time. Ta-ca! See ya!